Hello everybody, um, it's John Sona here, and uh, well, I haven't done Johnny webcam video in a while, so I've been busy and stuff like that with uh, Whisper Angel, but oh, what a summer this has been, huh? <laughs> Let's see, first, mm, as the summer rolled around, um, the neighborhood that I live in, surrounding my family home of 25 years turned into the ghetto on steroids and uh, you know I won't go on and on about that but us my family me um, and um, all of the business owners around here and the city I live in stepped it up and uh, we managed to majorly clean up um, our neighborhood so and the park that we live on so it was bad but good but it was very draining uh, I went through quite a bit of depression as did my family over that what was happening but you know improvements happened um, let's see some of the more minor stuff but still heavy um, I had we had a, um, a yard cat who I adored who I thought about bringing in but I didn't I just I just loved him to death his name was Ryder there'll be a song about that my next record um, he he got mauled by a dog he died and then I found out just a couple days before that that a, a friend of mine I haven't seen and talked to in many many years but his name was Lonnie there'll be a song about him on my next record um, he passed away he was uh, dealing with the same health issues that I have and um, you know he he kind of had a tumultuous past and you know had some uh, some issues with drugs and stuff and uh, I don't really know I mean I think he stopped I don't really know the details but you know I was like when I almost died in 2014 and struggling through this disease you know I always had, you know, what gave me strength was, well, if he can, he can beat it and he can live, you know, after everything he, and uh, when he got it back in the 80s, I think, then I can. And now he's gone. I don't know if it was complications from that, but he's not alive anymore. And I was just devastated. I just couldn't believe it. And he was a great soul too, you know, I loved him. But, um now he's gone so I don't have that anymore and then you know that that well that gave me strength if he can beat it then I can well he's not here anymore so <laughs> and then um so fly high and rest in peace Lonnie I love you dude and then I found out on Monday <clears throat> that the one and only love of my life and passed away at 56 years old his name is Brian and we were together for four years we met in 1994 and broke up for the last time in 19 end of 1997 and um, we had a very rocky and tumultuous relationship I blamed him for a lot of our problems but I caused just as many problems I was terrible <laughs> you know you can have love and it still not work out and it didn't and um, but you know we forgave each other and we kept in touch off and on when I lived all over the country and through letters or phone calls and I've looked him up before and he's looked me up before and I went to a couple of his family reunions in 2009 and 2010 you know he told me he would if I ever got sick that he would take care of me you know love the love never went away we just couldn't be together and um, but he passed away and I don't know the details I can't I guess family doesn't want anything to do with me they can't they uh, ignored my Facebook friend request our mutual friend David he's the one that messaged and told me and I don't know the details of his death it said natural causes I guess it was just you know I don't know how to find that out and I guess it doesn't even really matter but it really threw me for a loop I'm like 
it really, you know, I've been through death before many times, and ones that have really, really hurt and been devastating, but this one really, really hit me in the face like a bag of bricks. You know, we uh, kind of stopped communicating in 2013, I think was kind of it. And, you know, I didn't even wish him a happy birthday on August 5th. I was like, I don't even sure that he even wants to hear from me anymore. I don't know. I just didn't do it. Now I feel terrible for not doing it because uh, he's dead. It's just, uh, you know, one of the, there's many reasons why, you know, I have the health issues I have. But, <clears throat> you know, one of those reasons was as I searched and searched to find love like that again. And I never did. I mean, I've been, I've had little relationships, if you can call that, call them that, here and there over the years. And there were some really nice dudes, you know, that wanted to date me, that would have treated me great, but they weren't Brian, you know. And uh, I've just, I've been single pretty much ever since 1997. And, you know, so even though we weren't really in touch anymore, he was still on the earth. It was like, you know what I mean? He's still here, and now he's not. Now he knows the secret. His soul's gone. Passed him for a sign. I haven't gotten it yet. Because I want him to know that, you know, to this day, that I still, I still loved him. And he was the only love of my life. There'll never be another for me like that. And apparently there's not going to be any um, um, official services. And on the obituary I read, and nobody has gotten in contact with me saying otherwise. And um, I was going to go to his funeral, but I guess he's not going to have one. And his family is going to have some private thing. So on Friday, I'm going to have my own little goodbye ceremony at um, the, uh, the park by... The main river of the city here. I'm going, I wrote a letter that I'm going to uh, put with some flowers and I'm gonna kind of throw it in the river and say my goodbye and say a little prayer and hope that he knows that regardless of what we went through together or how much of a bitch I was you know or fucked up I was back then that I always always loved him. I never stopped. I mean, I was just thinking about him a couple weeks ago. Anytime there's movies I see sometimes or, you know, always the fact that I'm don't I'm alone in, in regards to that relationship part of my life. I mean, it's just I always think about that. And ever since I found out that he died, I mean, just everything. It's like kind of like your life, life flashing before your eyes, but it was everything of us and times and everything in regards to him. I mean, it was just going through my head and it was just like I felt kind of lost and I feel dark and empty and and just like and it just makes you really even more realize this one did that about our mortality I mean I was struggling with you know people I love getting older and our animals getting older and it's like god death is getting closer and closer you know and, and the world continues to suck and I mean just so many things it's like and it's just it takes a lot of effort sometimes but I really try to keep that decent attitude, and uh, it gets more and more difficult. And But it also makes me appreciate the things that I'm thankful for and blessed with, like my family and um, our home and my animals. And, and death is a part of life, so... <clears throat> but I'm struggling with this, uh, with this Brian death. It's just like, wow. And uh, what else? I think, I mean, there's probably more stuff, but those were the big ones. It's just been a real rocky summer, and it's been hotter than fucking hell, too, and it's still hot right now, hence all the fan noise, but it's like, okay, it's September, Earth. You know, I know we're, us as humans are destroying you, but come on, we need some cool, crisp fall air. I need some fall in my life. I need the summer to be over. Anyway, so that's life. Um, as far as music... Um, Whisper Angel was released, and, um, it is, uh, it was, it took me forever because it's been such a rough summer to get it done, but because I took so much, spent so much time and took my time on it, you know, a lot of the mistakes that I made in full circle as far, far as sound and, and stuff, and 
issues uh, were not there. Every record has got some sort of flaws because of the equipment I have to use. But all in all, Whisper Angel is my uh, favorite album. Um, it beat out Flowerhead for my favorite of my works now, but I love all my albums. But um, Whisper Angel's great. Um, I re released Whisperlude. It served as a promo video and official single and video. It's the first time I've done that. And then Artificial Stimulation was released um, as the first official non-promo single and video. Video turned out great. Um, I love, that's one of my all-time favorite songs that I've done. I love that song. Um, and then I released Moist, the one dirty song, quirky song. Um, that video turned out great too. And, um, and that's where it stands now. I'm getting ready to release the single for Ghost of You. I was going to do a video for it in October, but I'm not going to now. But I'm going to release that as dedicated to, um, and to uh, you know, the people that have uh, died this year that I've just mentioned. There's it's this it's a song about people that have died that I know, and Brian was mentioned in that, but he was still alive. It's like. Now he's not, and Lions mentioned in it, and I'm going to dedicate it to them and release that next. And then, um, you know, I've got there's a couple other singles that I'll kind of um, non video that will uh, I'll take that I'll taper release or whatever for the rest of September. And then I'm currently working on the video for Whisper, that's still going to be the last video production from Whisper Angel. Um, and it's a complicated video as far as editing stuff. All the film, most 90% 90, 90 of the filming is done, and all the footage is uh, there. I just gotta put it together. So that'll probably be released about mid September, and um, and then that'll be it for Whisper Angel, because I wasn't gonna do, I wasn't even gonna do Whisper Angel, but you know, I wasn't gonna do any more albums because nobody listens to them, but. It's been it. My music really helps me. I've only been going on and on about you know nobody giving me a chance and nobody hardly anybody listening to those of you that do and support me. There's very few, but oh my god, I can't tell you how much it means to me in this piece of shit world that we live in. That you know in this crazy life that there are people that actually give a shit about what I do as an artist and a human being. So I love you, thank you, and the fans that I, I have on like Reverb Nation and stuff. Um, I can't even remember some of the names I wanted to mention, but to all of you, you know who you are. Thank you so much for the support because it means so much to me. Um, the album I'm, cause I've already started working on. Most of the primary primary music is has been created. I've started dabbling with lyrics. All the album cover is done. Um, all the single covers are done, and um, and all the subject matters of each track. It's not going to be nine tracks again. For my next and last album of 2016 and maybe ever, um, called and it will be called Soft. This is not the official cover, but it's cl close to what it looks like. This is my notebook that everything's in, and um, so anyway, that's going to be my last album this year, and it's definitely going to beat out all the rest. Is my favorite. It's already turning out so amazing, but. Um, there's going to be more references to the love of my life and his death in it and the deaths this year. And it's not, it's not going to, I don't know, it's not going to be quite as dark as uh, my other albums have been. Um, you know, just a celebration of life and a recognition, recognition of death and stuff like that. But I'm really excited about that and I need it. I've got to have this. If the only reason I have done this music and these productions is to distract me and to keep me centered and focused well then you know that's great and something because i'm gonna have a funeral so you know of some kind so it's like you know maybe everybody can listen to my music then when i'm dead because <laughs> you just never know that's gonna happen but you know i try i'm trying i don't think a lot of people in this world try to have positive attitudes anymore I really have to work at it and you know it's hard it's so hard sometimes though so um damn hold on a second I'm gonna smoke while I do the rest of this sorry <coughs>
<laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm actually quit for a hot minute again, and, uh, I was doing electronic, but, it's just, uh, I just felt like smoking, fuck it. Um, so anyway, I think that's about it. I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm trying to keep this at, like, 20-some minutes. I haven't done a uh, Johnny webcam in a while because I've been busy and I just haven't really felt like talking. I actually made a few, but I didn't post them because they were real negative. But, you know, I guess to sum it all up, the world is just continuing to rapidly go to total shit. This election, oh my fucking God, are you kidding me? I mean, it's just such a joke. I just, I'm so, I'm just over it. I'm so over people being brainwashed and, you know, calling each other names and stuff. It's just like, we're going to lose the country eventually. And, well, oh, well, you know, what are you going to do, huh? It's like, we're letting it happen. <clears throat> but, you know, it's just, elections coming up in November, and Lord only knows what's going to happen. But, um, you know, with all of these deaths recently, it's like, well, I think about, you know, me, my family, people I love, it's like, we're all gonna, we're all, we all heading that, down that same road, but I guess as long as we're, and I'm trying to still find some sort of positivity and in, in life, and still learning the lessons I'm supposed to, so hopefully I never have to come back to this miserable planet again, that, uh, you know, I guess everything's okay, as long as I keep doing that, and, um, you know, I'll probably have three video releases plus a promo video for Soft. That's what the, um, sorry, that's what the last album, the new album is called. And, um, and then, uh, next 2017, if everything's still functioning normally in the country and world, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. If I'm going to do music anymore, um, I don't know. We just cross those bridges when we get to them, I guess, but I am proud of myself for um, continuing on with my music, even though nobody will give me a chance with it. I've had everything just rejected for everything. Nobody will help me. Maybe I suck. I don't know. I don't think so, but you know, it's a lesson I'm supposed to be learning in life, but you know, I do as it is life gets more difficult and it's natural too when you get older and people you love start dying and people start dying and uh, and aging and all that stuff I mean it really it does I mean everybody starts getting kind of like down just like you know and kind of struggle with depression and stuff because it's just like it just seems to be so much of sadness and stuff with all that but um I just, uh, I'm kind of rambling now, but as long as, uh, you know, there's still some happiness and meaning in life, and there are things that I am blessed with that I do hold so dear, more and more with all this stuff too happening, then I guess everything's okay. I try to keep it right with God, have lots of talks, you know, and because I do. I try to make myself out, I do have a level of arrogance, I guess, and, you know, I try to make it out, like, with, you know, instances and things that have happened in life that it was always everybody else's fault. I fucked up a lot, too. I have a good soul and a good heart, and I haven't done really, really anything horrible to any human being, I don't think. But, you know, I haven't always been perfect. I've done things to hurt people, just, and I've fucked up, and, you know, I fucked up in the, with the one love of my life relationship, too, and, you know, I admit that. So, I just, I just want to get it right, because who knows when your last day is going to be. And, um, you know, even though the planet's totally fucked up now, more than ever, you know, life is still a gift, and it's important to do the best with it. 
and I want to learn all the lessons I'm supposed to learn so I don't ever have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, check out Whisper Angel. You can access all my albums through www.ijohnsona.com. That's my main website. And for some reason that's not working, you can just Google John Sona or Google John Sona Music, J-O-N-S-O-N-A. If you want to check out my stuff, um, it just keeps getting better and better. And um, and then the soft album, I'm aiming to have it released sometime in November. Um Maybe by Thanksgiving, maybe a little bit before, unless, you know, more uh, things that make me have to struggle to keep going in my head <laughs> happen, then, you know, it may not be till December. But I'm aiming for November for that, and it's going to be a really, 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 uh, um, it's going to be my most amazing album, actually. But, um, yeah, check, check out that, too, this winter, and check out Whisper Angel, because it's a great record. And I think that's about all, so... Peace, love, and light, and uh, fly high to those who have been a part of my life that were amazing souls that have left now. And, and that's all. Bye.